Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Warped Axe on a dedicated strength build, as it does get an S scaling in strength, so our stats are there on the right for anybody interested. We have 60 strength to get the high damage scaling out of the axe. We have the minimum endurance needed to wear the full bull goat set. Yes, this is the first time I'm trying out a full poise build. I decided to switch up the fashion for the build as I had a lot of spare points. I could have put them into strength to have around 80 strength with higher AR, but I feel like having the full poise set will make trading with an axe a little bit easier as the moveset's not the fastest and it doesn't have the best range overall. I've used the axes a little bit in invasions and I find it difficult to close the gap between you and a long range opponent if you lack poise, so I figured why not stack all the poise. We have full bulgo with the bulgo talisman, we have the shard of Alexander to boost the ashes of war on the axe, and then more health from the crimson armor medallion, and the great jars arsenal. Now taking a look at the actual moveset, the light attack chain comes out at a decent speed. It's not the fastest, not the slowest, but it doesn't have the best range either, so you gotta pick your moment when using the light attack. The R2 is interesting, and the follow-up R2 actually has a uh, secondary slash, so if you can pull that out and bait an opponent into trading into the second half of it, perhaps it'll do high damage. I'll, I'll try it in the duels, and we'll see how it performs. The jump attack and the jump heavy, pretty standard. The rolling attack as well. The running light attack comes out pretty decently. The running heavy is more of the slam down version of that, but I feel like the running light could be a little bit easier to roll catch with as it covers a decent amount of ground when it comes out. The running heavy as well, I suppose. They're very similar. One's just the slash, one's the slam down. And then the uh, reverse back step light running attack. The warped axe is a regular smithing stone weapon, so we do get to have the interchangeable ashes of ore. I figured I'd start with spinning slash, as I know this can combo, and I've used it in invasions that work pretty well. So we'll start off here, and then we'll start trying out different ones every second battle. And yeah, that's really all I have to say about the axe, I suppose. Let's just get into the duels and see how it performs. All right, we have our first opponent. I'm sure he's going to see the horror of my outfit. Kind of look like the standard tank class, just full bull goat with an axe. <laughs> All right, sir. I'll just get in there and see what we can poise. We just R1. Who needs dodges, right? <laughs> no one needs to dodge with Mr. Bull goat. It's hard for him to get in here, though, to be honest. We'll do the spinning slash. Do it again. Oh, we can't tank that. <laughs> Good to know. I was wondering if I could tank the fire. I don't think so. Nice. Trade. Trade with me. <laughs> R1s. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. He does good damage, though. If he did hit me with one more of those, I would go down, I think. Oop, I wanted him to come in for the trade. I was kind of playing not very carefully at the beginning. <laughs> Jumping light! Follow up! <laughs> Fun fight, Naboria. Very good, though. Yeah, this this build seems like it, it can just trade. Although, I wonder what the limits are. That Ash of War definitely poise broke me. Alright, we have our next opponent, Draken Guard. Hello there. Oh, you have a great hammer. Ah, for science, I kind of want to let him hit me once. Just to see if I can poise that. Hit me with your hammer. I promise I won't move. No, you were supposed to hit me with the hammer, sir. Well, now I can't test it. I just lost half the health to the fire. <laughs> I was going to walk up and let him hit me with that. Oh, well. It's all good, Draken Guard. Oh, you're half dragon. I get it. Wait, I think I fought someone with this name before. Seems familiar. Good damage. Why is it? He has a poison on his hammer? <laughs> oh, it almost, it like, it almost half poisoned right away. Jump late. Oh, I was hoping he'd roll backwards. All right, maybe we can bait him into the, I don't know, the running attack? Yeah, it seems to come out quick. Our one machine. We don't stop. We are bull goats. <laughs> we just are one. Although his build is very cool compared to ours. <laughs> it's very fun fight, Draken Guard. Very fun. Good mix-ups, man. All right, moving on to our next opponent. We have Morgan with the Godskin Peeler. Hello, Morgan. How are you? Hello, hello. Uh, you got any buffs? I realized I didn't really pack my flask yet correctly. So, yeah, there's that. I have Wild Strikes to try out, though. We will try out the Wild Strikes. Oh, my God. That did a lot of damage, actually. Oh, they have the Twin Blade Ash of War on there. Let's just do this. Wild strikes. 
<laughs> we just poised through all of that. Alright, well, fun fight, Morgan. I, I thought this was the time to finally try Wild Strikes out. Seems like a good idea. Alright, moving on to our next opponent. We have Egypt. Egypt, yes. Hello, Egypt. How are you, man? Do you have any buffs you want to do right now? Oop, just the lance. The standard lance. Always a fun one, though, to be honest. <laughs> I hyper-armored that. If he hits me again, though, I will get stunned, so... Or I won't. Or I won't. <laughs> or I won't at all! <laughs> what? How is that possible? <laughs> Alright, didn't get stunned. That's a new one for me. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. He's got the range though. We definitely have to space him out here. Otherwise he's gonna get the final hit in. But we got it. Fun fight, Egypt. Very good test. Wow, wild strikes mixed with this armor. Just full traded, I think. Three, was it three or four hits? Crazy. All right, fun fight, Egypt. All right, for our next Ash of War, we're gonna be trying out Horror Lose Earthshaker. We know it works from time to time, but I feel like when you're fighting a bull goat and that comes out of nowhere at you, you kind of panic roll. So we'll see if we can make it work with the axe. Um, whenever our opponent gets here. Hello there. Hello there, Erend O Miss er Erend Omst G Y. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I will be doing my buff as well. Oh, double buff. All right. Um, this is my only triple buff. I don't have a third one. Uh, are we good? Okay, we're good. All right, this is this is me getting rid of your bubble. As is tradition. All right, we're going to get close to him. He seems like he wants to play the far... Oh, it was that one. I thought it was going to be the one that leads you. Um, wait, where is my... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was looking for my talismans because my rings weren't organized very well. Alright, so the lightning one caught me off guard. Ah, uh, should I roll through that? Yeah, I have no choice. He doesn't want to fight any closer to me, which is fair. We dodged the lightning. That almost led me into it. When I get close to him, we're going to horror you. I don't know the range of these miracles. <laughs> They're keeping me at bay very well. I guess he just wants to trade with me. I wonder if uh, my armor could poise that. He's gonna panic roll 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't seem like the guy that likes to be close to you in a fight. Very fun fight, man. <laughs> Very fun. Interesting incantation build. Alright, our next opponent is Wota. Hey. Hello, Wota. What's up, man? You have the Beast Man Cleaver, I believe? I have an axe. Alright, are you ready? <laughs> Are you sure you don't have any buffs? Okay. I bet you he was assuming I'd have like a million buffs. Bull goats, we tend to we tend to have many buffs. Ah, uh, one panic roll. Not the second one though. Okay. He's prepared. I like him. <laughs> Although we did get one good hit off that, so we can't really complain there. Oh, we did poise the flame that time. Because he would have got the combo off. 100%. I go he's going for the roll catch. So, our, I, it was probably because we got hit beforehand, so our poise wasn't full, you know? Very fun fight, Wota. That makes a lot of sense. Very enjoyable fight, man. Very fun. Alright, the next Ash of War we're going to try out is Lion's Claw. I feel like if we trade, get an R1 and stun them, we might be able to get the Lion's Claw off if they panic roll. Hello, Shalia. Hello. How are you? Do you have any buffs, Shalia? No. Shalia. <laughs> Wizard! Oh, the spiral. Interesting. <laughs> Somehow we rolled all that. Just patiently. So we go for the R1 roll catch. Okay. I don't know if we can trade that axe. It's hard to say, honestly. Does it have a follow-up swing? I thought so. It looked like it did. Okay, let's see. We do that. Let's try and trade with Lion's Claw. Oh, yeah. We just went for the, the overall. Okay, this seems like a long animation, so... <laughs> seems like our opportunity to, to do the Lion's Claw. Very fun fight. And we actually landed the Ash of War. Look at us. Front flip. 
And for our final duel, I figured I'd try out another Ash of War. We're going to throw Swords Dance on this because this has so much poise to it. I feel like it'll be very easy to trade the Ash of War into whatever we're fighting and get two hits off. See how it goes. Uh, what are we fighting here? We have Dark Armor 97 with two Twin Blades. Okay. And possibly AFK. <laughs> hey, do you have any buffs? I'll let you buff up. It's all you. You good? Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> I love how we're all universally just using... Uh, the the crouch is up. I'm ready. Let's do sword dance. It seemed to... Well, we traded one hit there. Oh, he's got bleed. Oh, that's kind of terrifying. <laughs> we're going to eat our bleed pellets. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to have to be very much more careful now. Now it's not just about the poise trading. He has the ability to go for the bleed buildup. Ah, that was decent damage. Oh, very good. Damn, he knows I'm close to bleeding. I can see it in his eyes. He senses my, my bleed buildup. Oh, there's the blood loss. I'm going to get a little bit aggressive here, although he's lagging a little bit. Oh, very fun fight, Dark Armor. I dodged the bleed proc, but he stayed aggressive because I don't think he noticed that... Uh, I actually dodged the proc. He thought it was close to proccing, so he just went for the trades. Ooh, very fun fight though, man. That's actually a really good use of that Ash of War. Maybe Twin Blades is the answer to that. It's pretty cool. All right, now let's go see how this performs in invasions. All right, we have our first invasion in the lovely Castle Soul. I tend to get really quick invasions here. I've been loving it. And my spawn point hasn't been throwing me outside of the castle a lot lately, so I can appreciate that. blue saw me it's perfect hello there mr. blue no he was prepared no my jump scare he's got bloodhound step he's gonna chase me a little bit quickly but that's fine that'll actually isolate him a little bit better than the others and I want to pop his bubble really quick there we go. <laughs> yeah, he looks like the type to panic roll. <laughs> Yo, Bloodhound stepped the hell out of there. He was gone. <laughs> oh, he's fat rolling. That's why he did that. Okay. <laughs> Hello there, hostie. Oh, you're not supposed to be smart about it. There goes the sun, bro, though. <laughs> Damn, this guy would have got roll caught so much for that bloodhound stuff, sadly. He's not calm at all. <laughs> oh, I can't poise that, huh? Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Dodge the frostbite. <laughs> Oh, uh, unfortunate. <laughs> trying to like predict where he's gonna go with it. Hey man. Missed me. There's a hit. The host died on his own, man. I was having fun with this guy. Oh well. Fun fight though. Alright, we have our second invasion here because that was really fun and it got cut very short because the host died on his own. So we have Dezale over here somewhere. Hey there. Oh, there are two of you. There's a wizard. Hello, guys. Hello. I sense wizard ambushes. <laughs> I totally don't see the wizard. <laughs> Not at all. I think I'm going to get pulled into your swords. No, 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 no. No dragon breath for me. Not today, Dezele. Dezele. Here's a bomb, though, for you. <laughs> okay, there is a blue summon. I need to pay attention to that. It's just... Oh, he's out here! Hello, boys! Whoop. Hello. I don't get hit by that. Sorry. No, sir. <laughs> That's AoE hell! Count me out! 
<laughs> Count me out of there. <laughs> Dragon breath everywhere. Uh oh, ambush shard. Interesting. The wizard's still doing it. Wow, what's the range on the ambush shard actually? Got me wondering. I do want to pop his bubble though. The blue's aggressive. I like that. Keep moving that ambush shard can't hit us. That's a bonus. Go up here where the blue will be near us. Hello, blue. Oh, I didn't know you were gonna guard break after two hits. Oh, there goes the host and the wizard. Oh, that was the blue. Oh, the blue and the wizard died to that. Wow, that is the fastest turnaround I've ever seen, Mr. Hosty. Whoa. Whoa, oh, dude, come on. There were three of you. And now you run from Bull Goat Man. Oh, jeez. Just the panic rolls. <laughs> That's unfortunate. We'll probably hit him with a jump heavy when he goes for the next heal. I'm a monster, sir. Oh, lucked out there. Boy, <laughs> fun fight, dude. Interesting wizard gravity pull me into the dragon breath setup you had going on there. Fun fight, though. All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the warped axe. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. It performed very well with the amount of poise that we had. I have to say, they worked well together. The stats are there on the right once again for everybody interested. The armor is just full Bullgoat, and then we had Great Jar's Arsenal, Crimson Amber Medallion, Bullgoat Talisman, and the Shard of Alexander, which I swapped sometimes for the Ritual Talisman when I was trying to trade and see what we could take a trade from. So uh, yeah, I, I swapped between those two talismans. But comment other weapons below. I've had a fun time so far with all the recommendations. We've done most classes of weapon, I believe, at this point, but I'm working my way through all of them. And yeah, until the next time, I'll see you guys for the Weapon Showcase videos. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.